everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and my channel is about all things homemaking. I have lots of videos on organizing, cooking and cleaning. So if you are interested in those types of videos, please hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. In today's video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I noticed how all of you were loving my pantry organization video. So I am going to take you on a bit of a tour of my kitchen today and show you some of the tips and how I've set it up to work best for me. So I hope that you can pick up something that you can use in your kitchen and that it motivates you to do a little bit of reorganizing. And if you like this video, please hit that like button down below. But without anything further, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is the first space I wanna show you. So we don't actually have a buffet in our house, but we do have these built-in cupboards for storage. So you can see I have a lot of stuff in here. It's actually quite big, but basically I use this cupboard for anything that I don't really use all the time. So up here, I kind of have things that I really use. And then this section, I've got like all my cake stands in here got like my salad spinner, some extra bowls and things like that. And then more serving stuff for when people come over. And then on the right hand side, I have my like jugs for drinks. I have some more serving things in here. So chopping boards, platters, all my instruction manuals for anything electric, some appliances, more serving where you can never have too much. And then towards the bottom, what I have is kind of like my electrical appliances that I don't use all the time. So I might use these like once or twice a week so they don't need to be out in the kitchen. So I just kind of have them in here and I put them, the heavier ones on the bottom shelf just so that I don't kind of ruin any of the other shelves, like the weight is at the bottom. So yeah, that is where all my serverware and just little bits and pieces that I don't need in the main kitchen are. Okay, so now we are in the main area of the kitchen. So the first part is just this island area. So we have our sinks here, and then I have like all my dish soap, my hand wash, and my thieves spray that I use here. So that is very convenient, and the dish rack here. So I just, when I started mapping out what I needed the kitchen to look like, I kind of just started off in this area because this is where I'm going to be spending the majority of the time. This is where we're going to do a lot of the cooking, the food preparation, the cleaning. This bench is where when we have people over, we like to gather, we like to have our antipasto or charcuterie platters. So this was an important area of the home for us. So we've got our sink, our dish rack and our dishwasher here. So underneath the sink, to make it very functional for us. We have a little bin for just the everyday that we kind of throw just the everyday stuff out. Then we have all our tea towels lined up here. I have dish racks at the bottom. And then I just have this little turntable with everything that I kind of use in here. Everything's getting a bit out of order. We just had people over. Um, but yeah, I just have all my cleaning products for everyday in here. So that way I just can grab it and it's just right there and my co, which is, I love my co as well. And my thieves fruit and veggie soak, I love that. But yeah, so I kind of keep everything that I need for every day out here. That way it's just easy, accessible, and I can just grab it super quick. And then of course we have the dishwasher right next to the sink. So right behind the dishwasher, we just have these, it's like two different cabinets at the top and the bottom but just to make it easier for when we're unloading the dishwasher. So we have all of our glasses at the top here. And then as we come down to the bottom, we have all our plates and all our bowls. So it's just so much easier having this here with the dishwasher right there. We don't really have to think about carrying the plates anywhere. It's just right behind us. And that's the majority of what we put in the dishwasher. And then of course over here, we have our cutlery drawer. So I ended up getting these acrylic organizers to kind of put everything in individually because I was having no luck 
with the normal cutlery organizers. So you can see I've got them here. Um, I just need to get a few more tubs for the top area. And then, yeah, the soup spoons and the smaller forks and the larger knives, we don't really use them all the time. So I've kind of left them there. Then in here I have just my knives that I use every day and just some salad serving ware. And then my bottom drawer is more for things that I don't use all the time. It's a bit of a hot mess. Um, but I like to call it organized chaos. So I've got all my baking stuff here, um, cake and baking here, and then just some miscellaneous stuff here. But yeah, definitely need to do a bit of a declutter there. So that is the island bench. And then the only other thing that I have in here is this cupboard. So at the top here, I have all my strainers. And then down the bottom, I have all my oil bottles. And we actually have this little tray so we can make sure nothing kind of gets dirty in the cupboard. So yeah, that is that cupboard. And then if you turn around behind the island, I've got all this cupboard space. So I showed you already this section with the microwave and then we've got our fridge here. So this main fridge, I mean, I'll show you inside, but it's not what it usually is right now. So there's a lot of random things in here. We just had people over. There's lots of cake in there as well. Um, but that usually has all my fruit and veggies in my vent smarts in there. And I just love to eat lots of fruit and veggies. So if that fridge is not full of fruit and vegetables, then... I know we're not going to have a good week eating. And then I have this long skinny cupboard here. Oh my gosh, my friend got me this with my wine. It's too funny, too cute. Um, so in here, I have kind of like food prep things and things we don't use all the time. So at the top, I have some big containers that I don't use all the time. Then in here, I kind of have like all my measuring things and like all our kind of cups that we take, sorry, bottles we take to work and stuff like that. And then I have all my food prep stuff. So I have chopping boards, I have graters, my little mini chopper in here, my mandolin slicer, my bread slicer. So I can just turn around from the sink, grab it and it's right there. And then I have all my Tupperware event smarts. So I haven't been chopping yet this week, so I still need to do that. So those I'm sure will get filled up pretty quickly hey, hey and then this is the stove section of the kitchen which i love so my favorite thing in the kitchen or well, one of my favorite things is these pot drawers so if you ever get a chance to build or you can do it yourself i would totally recommend having pot drawers they are the most amazing thing. What I love about the drawers, I'm going to give you a sneak peek here. What I love about the drawers is when you open a drawer, you can pull it all the way out. Whereas with a cupboard, if you want to put things at the back, you kind of have to pull everything out of it to get to the back. So I find the drawers are very convenient for that. So we'll start off at the top here. So at the top here, we put glass cupboards in and I just have just glasses in there on display. And then the one above the stove, it's not actually a really deep cupboard because it's got the range hood in it, but I've just got some extra herbs and oils and then our oil that we use every day in there. So that's just like a backstock kind of cupboard, just so that we don't have to use the pantry for that kind of stuff. And then on the left of the kitchen here, I have my spice drawer. I love my spice drawer. So everything is alphabetized. Um, I've got these... These are Made Smart Herb and Spice drawer organizers. So they are super handy. And then I just have everything that I need for cooking. So I have, you know, my timer, my trivets, my kitchen scales, my oven mitts. So as soon as I open this, I can just grab what I need and I don't need to worry about going anywhere else. I just find it's easier to have the herbs and spices next to the stove rather than in the pantry because. I'm always cooking out here and I'm always adding things. And that's something me and my dad used to do at my parents' house is we would just like grab things and throw them into the pot. And so, yeah, it's just how I kind of do it. And then I've got in here, this is another one of my favorite drawers. I have a lot of favorite things, but this is all my containers. So I have it all organized in here. It's a bit full at the moment because I haven't done any um, meal prep lately. So I've got that. And then in the bottom, these are like things that I don't use 
all the time. So I've just kind of got some pots and pans in here. So then on the right at the top, I've got all of my cooking utensils. So I've got these organizers again. These are from Kmart. And I've just organized it. So I've done spoons, tongs, all my little bits and pieces, my gadgets, turners, ladles, whisk smasher, spatulas, brushes, and then a little bit of random tenderizer, ricer, my gnocchi thing, uh, spiralizer, and then my spoon rest. So yeah, so I can come here, I can cook, it's all set up. I've got my herbs and spices and I've got all my cooking utensils here. And then in this drawer, we have all our fry pans. So I've put them in the middle because we usually use the fry pans in the morning to cook our breakfast. So just easy access. And then down here, I've got all my pots. So yeah, so I've kind of tried to categorize everything and just make it easier for when we're cooking that we can just come in this section and we can just cook. And then in this corner, I've just got my salt and pepper for cooking, my paper towel that I can quickly grab, and my KitchenAid, which I've nicknamed Kitchy. I love her, love this bowl, but um, yeah, I've learned so much having the KitchenAid. Like even, what did I make? Banana muffins. I was able to mash my bananas in there, so that was really handy. I love having that. And then over here, I have my Young Living diffuser. So I've just recently gotten more into the essential oils. So I've been using the Young Living essential oils and they are amazing. I will leave my member details in the description box below for you if you want to try anything. But this diffuser is amazing. It basically covers my kitchen, my dining area and my living area. So I'm really happy with that. But yeah, so that is that main area of the kitchen. Okay, so here is the pantry. So I'll start off up here. So this is the front when you first walk in. So we actually ended up being able to get a free butler's pantry. So we've got our sink in here, a little bench. We did have four cupboards in here, but I actually got rid of one because I wanted a second fridge and I wanted it in the pantry just to make it easier. So this fridge usually holds any excess food. So we go to Costco a lot. So we always buy things in bulk here. So that's kind of what goes in there. And then I have my Steph Pays organizers. So I've just filled out February. So I just need to write some important dates in there. I've got my meal planner so I can start doing my shopping list tomorrow. And I need to update my cleaning planner and wipe down that, forget, um, that don't forget list. But yeah, I like having the two fridges for me. I find I eat a lot of fresh foods. I try not to eat too many like processed packaged foods um, just because I do have sensitive skin and I like, to, I like to cook. So I really like to make things from scratch as you would have seen in one of my cooking videos. So yeah, I definitely prefer having the two fridges. Up here, we put these two shelves. So up the top, it's all the party things. So like foil trays, um, paper plates, paper cups, plastic cutlery, things like that. So things that we don't need all the time. And then when you first walk in, I kind of have put in all the cooking containers. I've decanted a lot. And let me tell you, when I did that, I didn't expect to end up with so much extra space in the pantry, but it really does help. These containers are actually click clack containers. So they look like they're glass, but they're not. They're airtight, they're BPA free. They're really stackable. They fit within it well within each other in the lid. Um, so I really love that. And then just on the bench top, I've just got my knife block, some cookie jars, soap, kettle toaster, and my coffee. So this is kind of just like our breakfast area. We do our breakfast in here. And it's just so that there's no mess in the main kitchen. I've got my Dyson. Of course, you would have seen him a lot. Uh, along here, I've got my baking containers so that was at the very top here before but in my pantry video I actually moved it to here and it's been working quite well to be honest with you everything in here hasn't really moved from that video it's pretty much stayed in its spot and I'm actually quite happy with it so I will tell you how I kind of organize the food here 
So I always start with what do I need to see at eye level? So I love baking. So I've got my baking at eye level and I've got snacks for when we have people over. So anything that I just need to quickly grab, I've got that at eye level. Then anything for kind of like breakfast or late at night, I've got on this middle shelf. Just so we don't need to be like rumbling through things or looking for things. It's all right there in front of me. And then on my bottom shelf, I've got all my cooking foods. So I've got that on the bottom shelf because I really don't cook every night. I do a lot of meal prep. So it's not always necessarily meal prepping the entire meal. It could be just meal prepping elements of the meal. So just find what works for you. But yeah, I find that it's easier for me and I get to spend more time with Richard and our family and our friends by having a lot of my stuff prepared in advance. So if that's something that you can do, then I would strongly recommend it. And then all these containers are from Kmart. So then I've got these baskets along the bottom and that's just got all my extra back stock in there, but they're a bit full at the moment from Christmas and my birthday. Um, so yeah, I just need to kind of get through what I've got at the moment. Um, yeah, and then I've got a lot of little lighter back stock things up the top here. And then I got these little extra shelves from Ikea. So I've just got double the room in here for all my mixing bowls. Um, believe it or not, I actually do use all of these. I know that sounds insane, but I actually do. And when you're meal prepping, it helps to have a lot of bowls because you can prepare elements, have them in one section and then use them again later. So... Yeah, I really find that those shells work really well and they're metal, so they're actually quite sturdy. I don't have them screwed in and they barely move. And then I've got two rows of baking dishes. So I've got roasting tins, I've got cupcakes, I've got pizza trays, I've got normal trays and I've got cooling racks and cookie sheets. So like I said, I love to bake. Um, that is definitely one of my favourite things to do and... I actually loved doing that a lot with my dad. Um, so, yeah, I really love doing that. I don't know if you have these, but I've got this like corner section and I hate the corner sections. But all I've done is I've put in kind of like baking dishes that I don't use all the time in there. So that's that. And then, yeah, I've got soft drink down here, which I don't use all the time. And then in that corner, I've got all my extra rice and extra flour. So I have my Dyson here as well. So that way, if I need to quickly clean up anything, I can just grab it and go. And then in here, another thing I would strongly recommend you do, try and get your bins in a cupboard if you can. It's just so it's out of the way. So you've got more space because originally I had some bins here, but walking in, it was just getting in the way a little bit too much. And then in here, I just have a few bits and pieces as a well so I kind of need to organize in here it's gotten a bit out of control but yeah I've just put basically like um, food gloves and sandwich bags and all my foil and baking paper and glad wrap in here I've got some drinks in here uh, I have to refill my sponges and then we've just got like medicine for just every day in there so I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching this video. I hope I inspired you with a few things on how to organize your kitchen. And if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next Tuesday at 8 o'clock.